one. I am Dr. V. Vanita, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Fatima College. So let me teach calculus of variations and some examples. The basic problem of calculus of variations is to determine a function such that certain definite integral involving that function and certain of its derivatives takes on minimum or maximum value. We will see the simplest equation in calculus of variation. Consider the problem of determining the continuously differentiable function f of x for which the integral i is equal to integral x1 to x2 f of x comma y comma y dash of dx takes on a maximum or a minimum value and satisfies the prescribed n conditions y of x1 is y1 and y of x2 is y2 on a proper derivation we will be getting the Euler Lagrangian differential equation dou f by dou y minus d by dx of dou f by dou y dash equal to 0. Let's see the definition for extremals and stationary functions. Solutions of Euler's equations are known as extremals of problem considered. An extremal that satisfies the appropriate n conditions is often called a stationary function of the variational problem and is said to make the relevant integral stationary whether or not it also makes the integral maximum or minimum relative to all slightly varied admissible functions now we see some special cases so f is not an explicit function of y in this case euler's equation is to f by dou y dash equal to c where c is some constant if f is not an explicit function of x, in this case the Euler's equation is f minus dou f by dou y dash into y dash equal to c, where c is some constant. If we are in the need to find the extremal or stationary function, it is enough to solve the Euler's equation. Now we have some examples of calculus of variation. One. Now we have some examples of calculus of variations. Some are minimum surface of revolution, geodesic, Rajasthan problem and so on. Now in this video we learn about minimum surface of revolution and geodesic. Okay, a curve joining the points a of x1, y1 and b of x2, y2 is revolved about the x axis. It is required to find the minimal surface of revolution. So we just consider the integral i is equal to integral x1 to x2 2 pi y ds and your ds is nothing but the arc length. So we just replace the arc length because the curve is rotating or revolving about x axis. So which is equal to integral x1 to x2 2 pi y and ds is nothing but the arc length that can be written as root of 1 plus y dash square dx and taking the 2 pi y to the other side so it will become integral x1 to x2 y of root of 1 plus y dash square dx and here f is nothing but y into root of 1 plus y dash square so x doesn't involve explicitly in the function so therefore we can use the Euler's equation as f minus dou f by dou y dash into y dash equal to c where c is some constant and finding the dou f by dou y dash we get y is equal to 1 by 2 of 1 plus y dash square power of minus 1 by 2 and on the di differentiating y dash square will be getting 2y dash and substituting this dou f by dou y dash and f value in this star equation which is nothing but Euler's equation so which implies and f is y into root of 1 plus y dash square minus y of y dash square by root of 1 plus y dash square equal to c which implies and taking the lcm of root of 1 plus y dash square it will become y into 1 plus y dash square minus y into y dash square is equal to c into root of 1 plus y dash square and taking this y or removing the bracket will be getting y plus y into y dash square minus y y dash square is equal to c into root of 1 plus y dash square and cancel out these two y and y dash square now we have y is equal to c into root of 1 plus y dash square so we have a square root term 
So we just taking squaring on both sides will be getting y square is equal to c square into 1 plus y dash square. And again removing the brackets we will be getting y dash square is equal to y square minus c square by y square. And we know that your y dash is nothing but dy by dx. So dy by dx the whole square is equal to y square minus c square by c square. And separating the and uh, taking a square root will be getting dy by dx is equal to root of y square minus c square by c. And uh, separating the variables dy by square root of y square minus c square is equal to dx by c. On integrating we get cos h inverse of y by c is equal to an integration of dx by c becomes x by c plus constant of integration. And taking this cos h inverse to the other side, it will become y by c is equal to cos h of x by c plus k. And uh, we need y, so y is equal to c, the, taking the c to the other side, so c into cos h of x by c plus k. So this is the required surface of minimal surface of a revolution, a curve joining the points of a and b from x1 y1 to x2 y2 and which is revolving about the x axis. Now this surface of revolution which is generated is called catenoid of revolution and the solution of the curve is called catenary. Coming to the next example geodesic we start with the definition. A geodesic on a given surface is a curve lying on that surface along which the distance between two points is minimum. On a plane, geodesic is a straight line. For right circular cylinder, the geodesic is helix. On sphere, geodesics are great circles. Now we prove the shortest distance between two points in a plane is a straight line. So if the points in the xy plane are x1, y1 and x2, y2 and if the equation of minimizing curve is y is equal to y of x then we require to minimize i is equal to integral x1 to x2 f of x comma y comma y dash into dx which is equal to integral x1 to x2 delta s which is nothing but the length of arc square root of 1 plus y dash square into dx so here f is equal to root of 1 plus y dash square now the function doesn't involve x, x and y explicitly so we can use either f minus dou f by dou y dash into y dash equal to c or dou f by dou y dash is equal to c. So we can consider dou f by dou y dash is equal to c. So now writing the f as root of 1 plus y dash square and differentiating partially with respect to y dash we have dou f by dou y dash is equal to 2 into y dash by 2 into square root of 1 plus y dash square and we have taken the equation as dou f by dou y dash is equal to c so that is equal to c and y dash is equal to c into root of 1 plus y dash square squaring on both sides we get y dash square is equal to c square into 1 plus y dash square and making a multiplication of the c square and taking this y dash square term to the other side we will be getting y dash square minus c square y dash square is equal to c square and taking y dash square as common we are getting y dash square is equal to c square by 1 minus c square and square root taking square root we will be getting y dash is equal to plus or minus c by root of 1 minus c square this is a constant so we just give a name as some a so we are getting your y dash is equal to a on integrating we get y is equal to ax plus b where b is some constant and this is the equation of straight line so we'll be getting the shortest distance between two point is minimum sorry sorry two point in a plane is a straight line